Apparently, all men are huge pieces of shit. Yep. Every single last fucking one of you. Well, that's the current state of affairs, according to shaving company Gillette. Their recent video, which has gone super bloody fucking viral on the internet and seen 7 million views in a couple of days. And what is even more hilarious than the virality of this video is the like to dislike ratio. This video has 150 something thousand upvotes and... Nearly half a million downvotes. The video basically promotes that being a man is a very bad fucking thing and toxic masculinity is the worst thing in the entire world. So ladies and gentlemen, why don't we just jump right fucking into it? Let's have a look at this hilarious shithouse attempt by Gillette at virtue signaling how progressive they are. Bullying. The Me Too movement against toxic sexual harassment. masculinity. Is this the best a man can get? Ooh, nice one there. I see you've just thrown back to a very old commercial of yours. Well, I found a very old commercial of yours as well. And it goes a little something like this. Oh, look, yeah. You're oh, good. chicks. Yeah, nice. Hot bird. Oh, Shirlers. Yeah, he shaves his face, gets Shirlers. Yeah, nice one, Gillette. You've certainly changed your ways, you fucking hypocrites. Is it? We can't hide from it. Okay, well they're saying here that uh, bullying is a male dominated industry. Well, if you look at say perhaps the women in your life, okay, let's have a bit of a look. I know for a fact that from what I've heard from the women that are in my life, that women can be very fucking harsh. If you take the ones who are at school, for example, or even the ones in the workplace, women can be absolute fucking assholes to each other. Just the same as men. Perhaps it's not gender that decides how much of an asshole you are to other people of your sex. It's just being a human. There's fuckwits everywhere. Is taking over it's been going on far too long. We can't laugh it off. Who's the daddy? <laughs> what I actually think she's trying to say. That fuckwit right there, that business dude, shushing that female executive up while he tries to explain what she was trying to say. That's not an example of toxic masculinity. That's not an example of what men are like to all women. No, that's an example of what a fuckwit does. There's a massive difference between toxic masculinity and being a rude piece of shit. Making the same old excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something boys. finally changed. Ah, yes, we've reached the overarching feature of this video here from Gillette. And basically it's saying that boys will be boys is the worst thing in the world. It's the reason that sexual violence exists in the first place. It causes all domestic violence and it's just the worst thing in the world. It probably helped write Nanette from Hannah Gadsby, that comedy special that was just atrocious. It's just the worst fucking thing in the world. Boys will be boys. How heinous, how horrendous. Shut the fuck up, Gillette. Allegations regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. Oh, yes. But she says it's a And there will be no going back. Because we we believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men accountable. Smile, sweetie. Come on. To say the right thing. That's a weird fucking shot there. The dude telling the lady to smile a little bit. Well, he is holding a camera. Unless you were going for a dramatic shot of the woman trying to like... Look all shitty or something. Smile, okay? It's a weird shot to put in there. It, it's lacking a lot of context, to be honest. To say the right thing. To act the right way. Bro, not cool, not cool. Some already are. Some already are. But every other male out there is a fucking evil piece of shit. Quick little side note. Everyone who has disagreed with this video from Gillette so far, and basically anyone who disagrees with any feminist logic at all, gets labelled something called an MRA, a men's rights activist. Now, I just like to distance myself from men's rights activists. I've done this in the past, but I've been labelled it as well, mainly from uh, Australia's Clementine, so Clem Dog Ford, who... Listen, let's not give her any more airtime. She has more than enough. I'd just like to say that I'm not a men's rights activist. The, the last thing men need... Well, actually, the last thing that men or women need, particularly... well. 
not just particularly, but mainly in Western culture, is rights. We all have the same rights of each as each other. We're all born in the same sort of realm, if you will. So let's just calm the fuck down about that. Unless you're talking about, of course, you know, uh, family courts and the family court system. Men are constantly fucked over there. Perhaps that's where men's rights activists have a foothold, but everywhere else, unnecessary. Oh, and while we're already off the track of the video, let's talk about something very, 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 very fucking important, and that's subscribing to the channel. Let's hit 1 million subscribers by the 14th of July, because that's my birthday, and we're going to have a fucking party. It's going to be fantastic. Hit subscribe right now. And ways big. Yo, men. And small. I am strong. I am strong. That clip right there is the most important part of the video for me. It stands out because it's a man, a father, saying to his little girl, his daughter, that she is strong. And she repeats back to him, I am strong. And I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, if I'm ever lucky enough to have a little girl or maybe even a few daughters, Something I'm going to teach them is that you don't need to be effeminate. You can be strong, you can be a powerful fucking mad bitch if you want to. You don't need to be fearful of men. You don't need to treat them as the enemy. You don't need to run around having feminists on the TV or on the internet tell you this and this and that and all these negative things that's going to weigh you down. You go out there and you be a mad motherfucker. You get after shit. You don't sit back and go, woe is me, I'm a fucking victim. That's fucking bullshit is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Be proud of your masculinity. Be proud of your femininity. Just don't be an asshole. All feminism does is condescend women. It's all it does. It treats them as second class citizens, the exact opposite of what it was trying to do in the first place. Ladies, you don't need feminism. You don't. We are equal in every single aspect of this world. You are not encountering sexist people when you encounter someone who treats you differently because of your gender. You're encountering an asshole. And the only way to get rid of assholes is to move forward as a society. And putting men against women and boys against girls is not the way to do that. But some is not enough. It's not how we treat each other, okay? Oh, stop wrestling! Oh my god, you're wrestling! Listen here, fuckwits. If you're stopping your kids wrestling, when it looks like these two guys are having a good time, they're wrestling at a family barbecue, they're getting stuck into it, they're doing their WWF moves, he's just landed a fucking choke slam, and old mate's getting ready to tombstone that little motherfucker, maybe give him a rock bottom, I don't know, but they're having a good time, and boys will be boys, and they'll have a good fucking time, they're wrestling. Bloody hell, I used to get on the trampoline with my mates, and I'd choke slam and put them through what cardboard box or something and I was a fucking hero. Well, look at me, I turned out bloody alright. Sure, I'm a bit sweaty in this video because it's 40 fucking degrees and I'm very bloody hot in Australia at the moment, but I'll tell you what, I've lost track of where I was going. Next clip. Okay. Because the boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow. The boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow. That's very fucking scary. A young boy watching this video, say 12 years old, sees all this and thinks, wow, men are the reason that everything is bad in the world. They're causing all this heartache for everyone around them. I'm sad, I don't wanna be a man. That's a head fuck. Seeing your gender as something that's only negative, that fucks with young people's heads. No wonder in this current state of affairs, that the male suicide rate is three times higher than female. Young women shouldn't see men as the problem in the world and young men shouldn't see women as the problem in the world. All it does is create hatred, animosity and distrust. And that's fucking a horrible world to live in, ladies and gentlemen. That's the end of the Gillette ad and all I can say is quite honestly, Gillette, Get fucked. You just pissed off your core audience. So what are you gonna do, ladies and gentlemen? Maybe just do what I do and don't fucking use razors. Grow a beard, motherfucker. Or perhaps if you didn't like the video, vote with your feet. Choose another company 
to buy your razors from. But if you like the video, maybe vote with your feet and use this particular company. But you know what? The only people who enjoyed this video were crazy feminists and let's face it, they don't shave now, do they? Society is continuously evolving into this dangerous state of hatred for masculinity. Male behavior is seen as a bad thing. Competition is seen as a bad thing and schools are doing whatever they can to stop confrontation or anything bad happening to kids in the playground. Things that help them evolve into stable adults. The idea that we must stop boys being boys is the driving force behind this just ridiculous ideology of the patriarchy. That men control everything. Except of course when you acknowledge the fact that men are far more likely to be jailed, men are far more likely to commit suicide, men are far more likely to be involved in violent crime, men are far more likely to die at work, men are far more likely to die in war, and men are continuously falling in the education system. Sure, there's a patriarchy in some respects when you pick and choose evidence, but I think what that evidence that I just showed you shows is that regardless of your gender, this is a fucking tough life. And the more that we got on as equals, the better. So reiterate my point from just before, fuck you Gillette, be a good motherfucker, peace in the Middle East, uh, ranky dicks ladies and gentlemen, my name's Isaac Butterfield, make sure you subscribe and like the video. If you like the video, it helps more people see it, so do that. Comment down below what you think about this whole Gillette ad. See you all on Monday, you absolute bloody legends. Toodaloo, au revoir, bye.